Buenos dias, my grade 8 learners! Are you ready for another day of fun and learning? Come and join me! I'm Teacher Joy, and I will be your teacher for today's episode in TLE Grade 8 Handicraft. Right here in Sambuanga Edu TV, believe together we can! In today's episode, you are going to learn the basic tools in embroidery. We will identify the basic tools and materials in embroidery. Give the uses of tools and materials. Classify tools and materials according to their uses. So, get your pen and paper ready and your ears and eyes steady. Let's go! Before we properly begin with our lesson, I will show to you a picture that will test your knowledge about our lesson today. Are you ready? Great! Let's start! Can you identify what is this? Well done! That is a tape measure. Next, let's have another picture. How about this picture? Very good! Thimbles! Now, let's proceed to our last picture. Can you identify what is this? The correct answer is embroidery scissors. Wow! You did a great job! Great job on answering the activity! I believe you are ready to learn more about today's lesson. Embroidery tools and materials are known as those sorts of elements, which are the prerequisites for performing the embroidery works. You should remember the fact that the more tools you have, the more attractive your embroidery designs will be. Each tool is precisely designed for a specific purpose. So choosing the correct tool will also decrease the amount of effort required to a great job done. Right without causing damage, to either the equipment or the surface being worked on. Tools used in embroidery. Tools gauge. Used to measure the short distance. Tape measure. Used for measuring more than one foot distance or material. Timbles. Made from metal or plastic. Protect the middle finger and push the needle while doing your embroidery work. This comes in sizes, 6 small to 12 large. Embroidery hood or stiletto is made of wood, bone, metal, or plastic used to make eyelets in the fabric to be embroidered. It is also used to keep the fabric stretched while embroidery stitches are applied to the design. It is advisable to place tissue paper hoop or twice or wrap the inner hoop with a thin material to prevent markings on fabric. Embroidery scissors is a small sharp and pointed good for fine work. Used for trimming scallops, clipping threads, and cutting large eyelets. Protect the blade by keeping them in a shed or cover and get them sharpened occasionally. Needle threader is used for easier threading, especially by those sewers with poor eyesight. Pounds is a fine founder used in transferring design by pricking method. Embroidery needle is a short piece of steel with a fine point 
at one end and a little opening or eye at the other. The kind of embroidery work to do and the kind of thread to use are two things to be considered in choosing your needle. Needles should always have a fine tip so that they can easily move in and out of the fabric. Do not use a needle that is bent. Without a point or rusty, this will affect the regularity and neatness of work. Protect your needles, storing them in a needle case. To sharpen needles or make pins last longer, rub them with abrasive materials such as sandpaper or heavy wool. Keep in mind that pins and needles are one of the most inexpensive notions used. Crowell, sizes 1 to 10, are sharp pointed, medium length with large eyes for easy threading. They are used for most standard embroidery stitchery. Chenille, sizes 13 to 26, are also sharp and pointed needles but they are thicker and longer and have larger eyes. They are those types of needles appropriate for embroidery that is worked with heavier yarns. Tapestry needle is from sizes 13 to 26. They are similar in size to chenille but are blunt rather than sharp. This makes them best for thread counting embroidery, and for the needle point as well. Watercolor brush is used for transferring the design using pricking and pouncing methods. Pin cushion is a place for pins and needles. Tracing papers used for outlining designs. Sewing box used to keep together the embroidery tools and materials. Bug, to keep work clean and fresh has a bag made from washable material to hold your work when not busy on it. Materials used in embroidery. Fabric, sometimes referred to as cloth are of great variety and they differ in material, weight, width, designs, color, and finish. Three types of fabric. Common weave includes most tightly woven fabrics with a relative smooth surface like linen, wool, and cotton. They are best used for articles with decorative stitches. Even width are intended for hard anger embroidery since the number of threads per square inch is the same for both rough and wool. Basket width is commonly used for beginners and rami linen by those who have been used to this embroidery. It supplies guidelines for cross stitch and smocking having an evenly spaced pattern like gimham cloth and polka dots. Thread is available in various types. They differ in terms of texture, fiber, content, number of strands, and colors. Threads are usually coded in numbers and color names. They can be bought in skeins, balls, or spools. The color of the thread should suit the color and texture of the design and the fabric to be embroidered. Proper care of embroidery thread as one of the essential elements of the stitching process. It's important to ensure the proper and careful care of embroidery thread. Store it properly under controlled conditions 
to avoid the following issues. Track bends. When a cam falls onto the floor, the point of impact can bend. The thread resulting in a weak spot or spots that can ultimately lead to problems as the thread travels toward to the needle. This is a common problem for those that store unused cones on top of the machine. Those cones will walk across the machine table due to the vibration of sewing and ultimately end up on the floor. Discoloring and fading Threads, especially rayon, will fade when exposed to sunlight for extended periods of time. If your threads are stored on a window sill or anywhere that sunlight can strike them full force, you will risk fading and discoloring. Lean build up. Threads that sit out, exposed to the elements of your shop's environment, are prone to dust and lean building up. Over time, such as a build up, can sink down into the threads. When the thread travels through the upper thread path, it takes the crud with it, dispensing it along the way onto critical surfaces such as tensioners that need to remain clean and smooth. The end result will be inconsistent upper thread tension and possible thread breaks. Brittleness. In addition, to discoloring and fading, excessive exposure to sunlight can dry out the thread and lead to brittleness in the fibers. Obviously, this will weaken the thread and lead to excessive thread breaks. Oh my! What time is it? It's test time! Pens ready? Check! Sheets of paper ready? Check! Complete the chart by identifying the kind and uses of tools and materials shown in the picture. Number 1. What kind of tools or materials is this? Check! Timbles. How about the uses? Correct! Timbles protect the middle finger and push the needle while doing your embroidery work. Number 2. What kind of tools or materials is this? Correct! Tool gauge. How about the uses? Great! Tool gauge used to measure the short distance. Number 3. What kind of tools or materials is this? Check! Sewing box. Correct! Sewing box used to keep together the embroidery tools and materials. Number 4. Correct! Embroidery scissor. How about the uses? Great! Embroidery scissor used for trimming collapse, clipping threads, and cutting large eyelets. Number 5. Pin caution. How about the uses? Pin caution, a place for pins and needles. Number 6. What kind of tools or materials is this? Check! Watercolor brush. Watercolor brush used to for transferring the design using pricking and pouncing methods. Success in sewing calls for the right tools and the right time. All tools must be appropriate in proper order. And one must know how to use them to save time. Safety precautions when working with needles, pins, and knitting needles. Keep needles and pins at a certain place, like special box and cushion. Do not leave them at the workplace. Never take the needles, pins in your mouth, and do not stick them in the cloths. Do not leave a needle and a pins in the product. 
Do not use rusty needles and pins in your work. Attach patterns to the fabric with sharp ends of pins away from you. Collect and dispose of pieces of broken needles or pins wrapped in paper. Count the number of pins taken before work and the number of pins at the end of the work. It must be the same. Keep knitting needles and the hook in the case. At the end of the work, remove them out of reach of small children. When working with knitting needles, keep them no closer than 35 centimeters from your eyes. Number 1. A small, hard pitted cup worn for protection on the middle finger. Sewing gauge, fabric, seam ripper, or thimble. What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is. thimble. Well done! Number 2. Which of the tools that are used to keep work clean and fresh made from washable materials? Bag, sewing tool, pin cushion, or sewing box? What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is... Bag! Number 3. Among the embroidery tools and materials are given below. Which one of them is used in transferring design by pricking method? Needle, pounds, thread, or thimble? The correct answer is... Pounds. Job well done! Number 4. This tool is used to keep together the embroidery tools and materials. Box, bag, sewing box, or toolbox. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is sewing box. Number 5. The following are the embroidery tools and materials except Embroidery needle, thread, French curve, or fabric. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is French curve. Well done! Number 6. How can you describe the embroidery tools? It is tall, it is blunt, it is thin, or it is sharp? The correct answer is... It is sharp. Nice! Number 7. Which of the following tool is used to make eyelets in the fabric to be embroidered? Thimble, embroidery hook, Embroidery needle or thread? The correct answer is Embroidery hook Well done! Number 8 Which of the following tools is used for trimming scallops, clipping threads, and cutting large eyelets? Dressmaking scissors Embroidery scissors Needle thread or thimble? What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is Embroidery scissors. Number 9. If Mr. Joey Santos would like to transfer a design into the fabric, which embroidery tool would you like to suggest? Pin cushion? Tracing paper, pounds, or tailor's chalk? The correct answer is... Pounds! 
Well done! And number 10, how does embroidery hook is being used? It is also used to keep the fabric stretch while embroidery stitches are applied to the design. Used to make eyelets in the fabric to be embroidered. Made of wood, bone, metal, or plastic, or all of the above. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is... All of the above! Congratulations! This is your teacher Joy saying, Zest for progress, zeal of partnership. Remember to always keep watching Sampen Educational TV. See you on the next episode, right here in Sambuanga Peninsula Educational TV.